Hey, what's good everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop Fortnite from crashing and fix absolutely any issue that you're having with this game. Because I know Fortnite tends to have a lot of issues, but let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So the first thing that we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're going to want to open up the Epic Games Launcher. So after you open up Epic Games Launcher, one thing I'd recommend doing is actually just deleting any sort of friends that you don't talk to anymore or play with. Also, whatever it is that's coming into your friend requests, just make sure that you go ahead and delete these as well. And the reason why this could help a lot is because having too many friends actually puts a lot more strain in your PC, believe it or not, because it has to render in all those friends and it could lower your FPS as well, believe it or not. C-Day, who had to make a new account because he got too many friend requests and it lagged his game to the point of Fortnite being unplayable. So I would say there's a big chance there is lag because of so many friends. So if you want to stop your game from crashing, be sure to do that. Make sure that you have at least as many friends as possible. Next thing is actually just making sure that your Fortnite is actually up to date. So you want to make sure you go to your library, come over here and go to manage and go to verify files. Just go ahead and click verify. But all you need to do is just click verify, wait for 5-10 minutes it takes to make sure that all files are up to date and do not have any corrupted ones. Secondly, make sure that your installation is on an SSD, okay? Make sure that you're on an SSD. Now, believe it or not, that can also make your game crash, okay? If you're on a hard drive, hard drives are really slow, but you want to make sure that you're on an SSD. Next, enable pre-download stream assets. Open the launcher, then go to library, click on the three dots and then click on options would make sure to have this setting enabled actually because if you have it off it's going to download all the streaming assets from the internet every game so like back bling skins pickaxes it all downloads from the internet so just having a check mark make sure you have pre-downloaded assets on okay it's just way better next up what you're gonna do next is go to your search and go ahead and open up the recycle bin and make sure that you empty out anything inside your recycle bin Next, on your desktop, press Windows and R. This will open up the run box and inside you want to enter percent temp percent. Go ahead and open up the file and make sure you just delete every single one of these files right here. They're just temp files. This could make your games crash, by the way, and just go ahead and click skip right here. So it comes up with this, then just go ahead and click skip. And after you do that, it should delete them all and then you should be good to go. Next, you want to open settings, type in storage sense and make sure it's enabled. This cleans up your PC by deleting unnecessary files, which in turn can free up more storage. Low storage can cause your computer to run slowly and then lead to game crashes. And lastly, you'd want to open up the Epic Games Launcher. You want to head into the library, click on those three horizontal dots next to Fortnite that you want to go into Manage, and where it says Installation, you want to click that little icon. Head into the Fortnite Game Folder, then into Binaries, then into Win64. If you scroll down to where it says Fortnite Client dash Win64 dash Shipping, right click on that icon, head into its properties. Inside where it says Compatibility, you can come down to the Compatibility Mode box where it says Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4, give that a check and then select Windows 8. In addition to that, they also recommend that you check the box next to Disable Full Screen Optimization, which is literally just below it. Disable full screen optimization, give it a check, then a click apply and click OK. Now see if that fixes any crashes. Don't forget to relaunch Fortnite. If that is unsuccessful for you, you can literally go back and revert those changes by unchecking both of them and then clicking apply. So that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for sticking around. Hopefully this video did help you out absolutely in any way. And if it did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you on the next one.